Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to North Shore over in Chichester. Uh, my name's Hugh, or it for birth, and today we're going to be having a look at a fascinating boat. This is the Supermarine Spearfish 32. Uh, let's go and have a look around. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chichester Harbour. We're just outside East Head over the bar here. We're looking at the Supermarine Spearfish 32. Any of you who are doyens of the offshore power baiting scene in the late 60s will remember a very, very similar hull belting around in the 1969 round Britain race. So this is the brand new Spearfish 32. She's built by Supermarine Motor Yachts on a slightly modified Allen V. Bernard Spearfish 30 hull. So with a pair of twin 370 horse Mercury TDI V8s, uh, we can push her up to about 46 knots. Just have a look at this thing go. The absolutely typical British classic powerboat. Fantastically composed, superbly manufactured, and beautifully built. Let's have a look at her inside and on deck. So here we are at the uh, historic North Shore shipyard. We're in Chichester Harbour. Today we're looking at the demonstrator or the ex-demonstrator of the Spearfish 32. So she's 001. She's got that beautiful bow flare, much beloved of Alan V. Bernard. Three spray rails in a main chine to give you volume as well as lift. A few quite um, noticeable changes though against the um, original hull which was launched at the London Boat Show in 1969. So we've got a bow thruster on her. She is full vinyl ester build, so extremely resilient and um, totally modern build. I've got four exhausts there just lapping out, unlike the Merlin which has six, another one of Supermarine's creations. And we've got a much larger bathing platform than the original and that's paired to a pair of outdrives rather than the original shaft drive motors in the original Spearfish. So much changed, rather than having the open aft deck we've got twin sun lounges here, there's a hot and cold shower, we have pop-up deck cleats and the uh, bathing platform is moulded on to protect those drives. Let's take a look on board. So the first thing to notice is that we've got quite skinny side decks with central access through, LEDs on this model and instead of having the traditional teak or non-slip she's finished in S-Tech, so it's a beautiful smoke grey colour with inserts and all of the deck hardware is in this beautifully anodized powder coat black. Main helm here, three forward facing seats, beautiful wrap round screen and the boat is finished to an absolutely beautiful level. So we have two forward lights going down into the main saloon. The bow locker up here gives access to an ultramarine through stem anchor system, all in stainless steel. The chain runs aft and then we have a secondary access point with the windlass which is powered on this model and also to the deck wash. So everything kept nice and neatly in here and plenty of plenty of space in there for fenders, warps, line etc. And also you've just got a horn in there. But this boat is about looks, devastating looks as well as beautiful performance and build. This long, lean foredeck, it's just so purposeful. And when you're behind these screens, you're tucked right down well out of the breeze. You've got masses of protection right about you. You've got space for friends behind. You've got a really practical radar arch for either firing nav kit off and also for launching the canopy system which comes with this vessel. As we move aft, you've got these two sun lounges with central walkway through. And then it's an easy step down into the main aft cockpit. So the aft cockpit is really protected and snug. When you're lying at anchor, you're well, well, well out of the breeze and you've got comfortable seating for four people. And there is a central bolster, which is just under my feet, which we walk down and you're into this aft cockpit. So the cockpit gives access to tanks underneath and also some storage space in the aft lazarette. We have a sink with pull out tap and then we have a folding table on the starboard side and that's these beautiful shocks bolster system seating. Main helm dash, two large 16 inch Simrad screens. So these are the NSS Evos, 
it's all touch screen so we can bring up navigation we can bring up engine performance data from the twin v8s we can use it through the c-zone system to control lighting throughout the boat so we've got bow lights we've got courtesy lights around the deck we've also got onboard lighting down in the main cabin which we'll take a look at at the moment but they're a phenomenally good setup it's really clear it's really easy to to use so mercury controls mercury joystick docking so it will vector the drives independently of, of one another we also have a kill cord here this is a high performance boat with 46 knots on tap so it's really nice to see it there lumar bow thruster electric VHF tucks around there. We've got zip wake interceptor trim tabs and a nice steering compass on as well. And for the navigator position over to the port side, we've got a small obments desk. We've got plenty of bracing positions and a fantastic, fantastic view forward. So that's the main cockpit. It's this beautifully finished cockpit drains all over the shop. Let's go and have a look down in the cabin on this fast performance weekender. So the old Spearfish was not quite finished, I think it's fair to say, to the same level as this. So we have beautiful Fleglizio leather upholstery on this beautifully bolstered saloon seating. Fully fitted galley over to port side, really nice refrigerator. Plenty of light coming in here from those overhead hatches, two opening hatches in here. And then we've got a useful storage system underneath that forward bulkhead and also a TV in here, smart TV, so you can keep in touch with whatever's happening in the world. Good double hanging locker here with a hanging rail. All of the space is used beautifully. She's got Fusion onboard stereo system with speakers down here and beautifully done speakers with the Supermarine logo etched into them in the cockpit. Really useful cave lockers either side. There are lockers underneath the seats. All these are trimmed out beautifully inside. It is a fantastically well built and finished boat. So that's the detail on this leather, which is an upgrade over the standard. Then we'll just have a quick look around the galley. So we have a really neat coffee machine there by Miele. Beautiful stainless steel sink. And the sink cover can actually be removed and locates into the storage racks set into the top step of the companionway. The lower step gives access to onboard pumps and more systems on board. So every inch of space is managed beautifully in this boat. Got storage in those two cave lockers aft. Really nice fridge, stainless steel, cooking top, and then a combination microwave here. We've got power in here to the air conditioning, which this boat is fitted with. We've also got power up and down for the saloon table. So this makes into a comfortable double berth. And again, really, really practical. So we've got override for the lights, which you can work through, this, through the, Z, the C zone panels. There's also a really neat head compartment. So back here, after starboard, beautifully built basin. We've got a pull out shower, got a couple of lockers. One of them has the heads holding tank gauge in it. There's the holding tank gauge. And then we've got an electro flush loo just sat down here again with a, an S Tech floor and just this stunning, stunning kit that has been selected to go into this boat. So it's really, really tactile and is really in keeping with the original spirit of these boats. So back into the cockpit, we're past this big row of seats we're looking down to the aft cockpit deck so we have large locker down underneath there and then we're looking at the breathing heart of this boat so twin 370 mercury tdi v8s on her really well insulated hatch very very quiet at sea and this is a really light punchy block the boat is manically detailed so we have light ion batteries 
remote battery operation, all of that good stuff. It is really, really well thought through. Fast, comfortable, agile. Please do call us if you need more information.